Round two of the Onslow Contracting WA Rally Championship, Bustleton and Nana playing host to the Make Smoking History Forest Rally. This round also the second event of the CAMS Australian Rally Championship. Several of the WA crews cross entered. Heading into this event, John O'Dowd leads the WA series and is looking forward to the challenge that is the Forest Rally. Yeah, look, it's been a fantastic start to the season for us, the West Australian Championship. We won the first round, so it gives us a good haul of points going into the second round. And, uh, you know, Tom and I, we enjoy the rides down in Nanup, so we're looking forward to, uh, to a good run down there. Running under the Maximum Motorsport banner, the team has had a brilliant run of results over the past few events. Yeah, the last 12 months have been really good for our team. I think the, we've won five of the last six events across four cars, which is uh, fantastic. But Forest Rally has a real special place for us because obviously for people like John and Brad, uh, it's a dual event for them. They've been contesting the ARC, uh, the WA Championship uh, points are important. And of course we've got a couple of additional cars here with Ross Duncan and uh, an ARC front runner, Glenn Ray Raymond running. So. Uh, you know, really important event for us uh, this early in the season. The team of Brad Markovic and Tony Fever cross-entered, chasing ARC and West Australian Championship points. Two tough days of gravel competition in play for the big field of West Australian Championship contenders, the list to include Clubman Masters and Clubman Cup runners. The traditional Friday night Bustleton Super Stage to kick off the competition, Markovic and Fever showing the way with two wins. O'Dowd very close behind and just 2.7 seconds the difference. Oxley and Wood a further five back. A super run from Vlad, fourth quickest and the lead two-wheel drive runner. Brilliant conditions would greet the crews for the opening gravel day. Eight special stages lined up, a tough day of rallying on the cars. Markovic wasted no time and set the pace on the first two stages, edging out a gap of 47.1 seconds. A good drive on these super challenging opening runs. The action was well and truly on for the next three positions. O'Dowd and Oxley continuing their round one battle just a few seconds apart on each of the two morning stages. O'Dowd second outright. Oxley and Wood just 1.8 seconds back in third. Young on board last year's championship winning car put all on notice with a super fast time on the 21Ks of Ferndale setting second quickest outright and the lead two-wheel drive runner to sit in fourth place overall. Five, then 20, seven left. Good work from Reynolds, Makara and Lorkowitz, all very close from fifth to seventh place. Right five in, bump, don't cut rock, 30. Two more stages, Markovic still in front, pushing the lead gap out to 58 seconds. Seven left, Young and five. back with the big movers, second quickest on the Healthway stage, and then a fastest outright on the 17 kilometre Ellis section, albeit by just one tenth of a second. A huge effort, the Honda driver now up to second place outright. Oxley also on the move, taking a big slab of time out of O'Dowd on the fourth stage of the day to now hold down third place, 5.4 seconds in front of the O'Dowd wild pairing. Reynolds held down fifth and with Makara now out, Lorkowitz jumped to sixth. The usually front-running Vlad and Nicoli were struggling with brake issues, seventh outright and second two-wheel drive the best they could manage so far. Back out for a second run over the opening stages, Markovic making no mistakes and increasing his lead before easing up on the two spectator-friendly stages around the Nanup Oval. The heat win by 1 minute and 13 seconds and although his focus on the Australian Rally Championship, Markovic very pleased with the state series result. Right, 3 plus opens, 30. 
Oh, without a doubt. I mean, obviously, first and foremost, we're here for the ARC and we want to compete against Australia's best and, and, and work out going forward to try and work on our times and our pace. We, we won't say no to a, uh, yeah, winning the uh, state championship part and, and side of it from that side of it. It's, um, yeah, very, very proud to have uh, achieved that today as well. A blistering run across the day sections from Mike Young. He pushed the Honda hard all day and was well rewarded with second place outright. And of course the lead two-wheel drive competitor, a very pleased driver. Yeah, I've been happy. Um, I think Ferndale was my favourite stage today. Um, so swept and you can just keep the pace up in a little car like this and plenty of revs and just, just having fun basically. So we're enjoying it and I think tomorrow the plan is just to bring it home. the battle of the day. That between O'Dowd and Oxley, the two swapping stage times across the eight sections, WA State Championship points at stake. O'Dowd edging Oxley out to take third place, testament to just how close a fight it was. Only 2.3 seconds separated the teams. Yeah, look, we're focusing on the state championship at the moment. Uh, the ARC stuff, the cards will fall where they fall for now and after the Forest Rally we'll have a look at it and see where we go from there. It was very close, uh, particularly in the first few stages, uh, point three and point one between uh, three or four of us there, it was all good fun and uh, the roads were pretty slippy and stuff but so uh, we kept it all together and uh, came through at the end of the day in fourth position I believe. Another good result for Reynolds and Stoltari. A clean run across the day. They also locked into a tussle with the Lorkowitz McNaughton combination. Both Subaru teams grabbing stage wins from each other. Fifth place to Reynolds, Lorkowitz a fine sixth. Second two wheel drive and seventh outright to the Vlad Nicole repairing. Unfortunately, off the outright two wheel drive pace on this occasion. A special mention that of the awesome sounding dazzle of John Ludnam and James Marquette. Plenty of high revving sideways action and ninth outright for the effort. A good field of Clubman Masters and Clubman Cup runners contested eight stages across this tough day of rallying. The big horsepower V8 Commodore of Kyle Douglas battled it out with the Lowther flood pairing. The stage time's very close across the day in a great fight. At rally's end, Douglas taking the points, Lowther second, just 20 seconds in it. The Ratton Ridge had a horror opening stage, but recovered the set fastest midday times and finished third place. Another with on-stage issues, Rob Webber debuting his brilliantly prepared BMW. That aside, a good shakedown for the new machine. Up and cup players, the Bowley Wade pairing doing the business. A super run, fastest on the majority of stages. Their fiesta on song, Chris doing a brilliant job behind the wheel. The winning margin just under two minutes, a well deserved Clubman Cup win. Second to the Miles combination, another clean and controlled drive on board their Mitsubishi Lancer. Third place to the Honda Civic of Grattan and Harris. A quick blast on the Bustleton Superstage on Saturday night to open heat two. Markovic fastest by just 0.6 of a second from teammate O'Dowd, Oxley third quickest. No change in the perfect weather conditions for heat two in the forests around Nanup. Another eight tough stages to run. Markovic and Fever pushed hard and had an eventful morning.
Oh yeah, very interesting morning. I mean, it started really well. We were uh, really, really enjoyed Brooklyn State. It was a great state to start the uh, Saturday loop. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yeah, got a bit of wildlife about three quarters of the way through. Caused a little bit of damage to the car, radiator-wise. Um, it just put me off my game a little bit at the end for the last, you know, two thirds or last third of that stage. Uh, still set a very good time. Pretty happy with that. We were a bit worried about the engine temperature at that stage because uh, the temp was going up. So we just uh, got through the Ellis stage, uh, sorry, the uh, Folly stage, got through the service. The boys did a great job in service, uh, repaired the bonnet, new radiator in there, intercool, that sort of stuff, got it all sorted. And then from there, we've just struggled, unfortunately. It's just whether it be a lack of power or even a bit of lack of grip, we, we're really scratching our heads at this stage. So it could even be in my head. I mean, we haven't worked that part out either yet. So uh, you know what? We're a bit of a tight tussle this afternoon. Uh, our lead of about 35, 40 seconds this, uh, after the first stage or so has uh, been eaten up. And uh, Mike Young and myself are now dead even. And uh, my teammate John O'Dowd is only 10 seconds behind. So uh, you know what? I think we'll go out there and uh, give it a big red hot go on the next three. So uh, yeah, look out. Mike Young enjoying the stages this morning with the road surface a little more grippy however the longer sections of heat one were more to his liking. Yeah kind of but I think I found today the stages are shorter and I think the other guys are pushing a bit harder. I enjoyed yesterday long stages and faster so uh, yeah we're just keeping along and trying to keep out of trouble basically. Minus opens and continues 80 6 left Short, 50. Another great job by this right, pairing, minus. super quick all morning, including a fastest time on the Ellis stage, second and third quickest on the rest. Ten seconds off the top two runners, O'Dowd looking to make a move over the final three stages. Yeah, look, at had a slow start on the first one. Um, the last ones were pretty good, so we've got three to go. Um, first place is gettable. We'll see how we go. We'll give it a crack. The slow start costing dearly with O'Dow dropping to fourth outright at one stage. A win on Healthways and Brockman too, putting him back into a fighting position. Oxley and Wood well and truly in the mix with a second quickest time on the number two stage of the morning. This another pairing with some work to do on the afternoon's loop, currently fourth place. Yeah, the first two stages uh, we did really well, uh, had some uh, good times, uh, kept uh, ahead of John and a uh, few of the others. Um, but then it swapped around in the last uh, three stages and uh, they've been beating us. Um, I've obviously been uh, dawdling along a bit, so we'll have to make up for it in the last three stages and uh, see what we can do, see if we can bring it home. Raz Vlad and co-driver Damon De Coley having a slightly better day holding down fifth place after four challenging sections. A good morning's pace included a second quicker stage time. Lorkowitz and Reynolds picked up where they left off on heat one, swapping stage times across the morning in a great battle. At the midpoint service, Lorkowitz with the upper hand, however less than nine seconds in it. On crest, breaking 50 down, turn left two, hairpin loop. With a car still not 100% on song, Markovic up the ante over the remaining three sections. And although the times were still very tight, they would take heat two and the win for this round two of the Onslow Contracting WA Rally Championship. A good job by this team under less than perfect conditions. Their Maximum Motorsport teammate John O'Dowd, another to push hard, he and co-driver Tom Wilde rewarded for the effort, second quickest on all of the three stages, to give them second for the heat and a combined equal second for the event. Valuable series points added to their lead in the title. Young and Beckwith kept it tidy as promised, third outright and first two wheel drive for the heat. The same result for the event a brilliant effort for this team. Oxley and Wood could not match the pace of the front runners on the afternoon sections. However, a super event for this combination 
fourth outright for the rally and a bag full of title points. Vlad would hang on to fifth spot for the heat and salvage good points for the series after a couple of very tough days on the gravel. Definitely the battle of the event, that of the Reynolds Lorkowitz tussle. These two continued their stage war over the final sections, again swapping wins. At heat's end, Reynolds and Stoltari the victors, but only by 1.9 seconds. Fantastic work by these two teams, sixth and seventh respectively. A second appearance in the top 10 results for the flying Dazda of Ladman and Margette, eighth place. The white pairing on board there, Sylvia, another team with a good heat result, ninth outright.